Good afternoon, everyone. I've decided to pick up the camera and vlog today, um, even though it's 12.30 and I'm starting to get very late. Uh, but I've decided to pick up the camera and vlog. Um, uh, today is Wednesday. Normally, today's a work day for me, but I took the day off because Kinley and... I think I totally could have gone to work. Um... Well, now she was this morning. She was really, it was rough. Um, because Kinley was really just not feeling well. Um, I didn't even vlog yesterday, which I kind of feel bad. I kind of regret not vlogging yesterday. You know, you don't feel good still? You're still a little hot. Um, I kind of regret not vlogging yesterday, but yesterday was Halloween and I kind of regret it. And that's why I regret it. But she was just not feeling great. We had an appointment the night before. She had your total total typical croup cough in the middle of the night a couple times she woke up um like hysterical one of the times because you know the more they cry and work themselves up the more it hurts and restricts their airway um oh yeah um so um yesterday morning was kind of rough but we had an appointment at a countertop place to pick out countertops for the new house and then in the afternoon we had a counter appointment at the tile place so we went to the countertop one um because it was pretty early she was she had a roughish morning but we made it there and it was really quick luckily it was so quick it was like a 15 20 minute appointment max because i knew exactly what i wanted when we went in there and they had exactly what I wanted. So it was super easy, just had to pick up the counters and then the edging we wanted. Um, and that was about it. And she was really good overall. They were so nice and gave her some coloring stuff and I did bring a lollipop for, you know, support. Um, and then we ended up canceling the other appointment because she was just not feeling great. And I really wanted her to get the absolute best nap possible um because her dad really 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 wanted her to go trick-or-treating and she was feeling okay i would honestly if it if he didn't persist i honestly would have would have let her skip um just because she's young enough where she's and she wouldn't really care um she wouldn't really know she missed anything i could just put some candy up myself and a pumpkin and she would be fine with that um so she did take a really good nap. She took about a three and a half, four hour nap. And then I gave her Tylenol. And so we did, she did make it in her costume and we did go to a, a couple of houses. Um, I did put a little extra candy in her pumpkin that I already had. Um, so, but then when we got home, she honestly did not even care about that pumpkin. She ate one thing at M&M's in the car on the way back. And after that, she didn't eat anything in there. She just let the pumpkin sit there and she just cuddled up on the couch and played her ipad for a little um she just did not feel good she spiked a fever not very high fever but she did spike a fever before bed last night she does she feels a little warm right now but not too too warm at all so and then this last night again yet again she had that croupy cough it's only really happens at night which is i don't know it makes some sense but it's still just a little weird i see oh i'm tired Mommy's sleepy. Can you say hi, guys? Yes. Say hi, guys. Oh, I'm a figure. What's on your shirt? Gummy bears. On your pants, too? Those are your new jammies? Dad. And they're, they're so big, they're falling Dad. down. Yeah, they're falling down. Your pants are falling down. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't pull your pants down. Um, so this morning she had a little bit of a rougher morning again because I think when she wakes up, you know, all the congestion is like in her face and in her nose and it's just very... So she came in my room and she just wanted to lay with me. So she laid with me. She I think she fell back to sleep for a little bit and then she played the iPad for some of it. Uh, so we've just been up hanging out. We're just going to stay at home today. I do want to run out later and get some elderberry syrup because we are out and that helps her so much with sickness. Um, because so far I have not gotten this cold thing, whatever, so I do not want to get it. I want to take some elderberry syrup myself. So we're just going to hang out for the rest of the day. Um, she's been really good overall. She finally got up probably about 30 minutes ago and has been playing in her room. Before that, like all morning, she was just laying on the couch watching a movie. So... Yeah, I'm going to try to get a couple of things done around here while she's good. Because when she gets tired, it gets a lot worse too. Which is probably going to be sometime soon. 
So I am gonna hopefully, I dusted all the fans, which I needed to do, which you guys don't even wanna see what the fan in her room looked like before that. The, room, the fan in her room is almost always running, and so it was, I didn't realize how much buildup had gone on it. So I dusted that all off, and I need to fix the vacuum. The vacuum does not work. Like, the suction is, like, blocked, and then it starts, like, to over, not catch on fire, but it starts to, like, smell like it's on fire. So I need to figure that out because I really need to vacuum. I'm so tired of hand sweeping and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and do that, and then we're just going to hang out together and relax. Cheer. What's your chair doing out there? Does it have a pumpkin in it? I want to sit there. No, you can go sit in there later. Please. You know, a little bit, okay? Please. Not right now, sweetie. It actually is very nice out there, so maybe later if you're feeling better, maybe late in a little bit we can go. You can ride your bike around outside. Not right now, in a little bit, okay? Okay, before you take a nap. Before you take a nap in a little bit, okay? Yes, I see you love this bike. Mommy's going to switch the things around pretty soon. Trip you up. <laughs> a little bit. Give you a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah? Well, guys, I am working on my vacuum, and I think I found the problem, which was the easiest thing in the world, you guys. If you guys can see that, there's a sock in there. That would most definitely be be the problem I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other stuff in there too but that's because the vacuum couldn't suck it all the way up because there was a sock in the way so that's probably suck. most definitely the problem suck. there was a sock in the vacuum how silly is that Kinley hmm? did you do that no you didn't do that yeah. you're silly so hopefully this is the fix because then my vacuum will be working whoop, whoop. Let's see if it works, okay? Let's put this back together and then let's see if it works. Yeah? No. Yeah. You have an iPad in there? Yeah. You're silly. You're silly with a girl. You got boogers? Need a tissue? Yeah? I want a tissue. Okay. So, guys, I finished cleaning the floors. Um, I vacuumed and I did. It's kind of like a Swiffer, but it's not a Swiffer. It's um one that you can put your own stuff in there um, and it has a reusable pad. Uh, and I just use a mixture of vinegar and water. Um, because the Swiffer ones, I like the Swiffer ones because um, you don't have to wash the pad. Like, you know, luckily my place is pretty small. So, usually unless they're really dirty, I can get, I can do the whole place with one pad. Like, I don't have to stop and wash it in between or wring it out in between. Um, but with the Swiffer, you know, they are nice because if you have a really dirty area, you can just throw it away after. But what I hate about them is that they leave the floors really sticky. They leave like this sticky film on the floors after you're done Swiffering, which I absolutely hate. So... I like the vinegar thing. As you guys can tell, someone has already been playing over here. I actually was gonna show you guys this because I love finding like around the uh, apartment. I love finding like little areas that she's left toys and like how she's left them. I just find it neat to like find that kind of stuff. But anyways guys, I am reorganizing a little bit of stuff because Zoe apparently there was a there was a little rug in this corner it was like purple and pink chevron which was like her little reading corner um and apparently Zoe I knew she had peed on it once or twice but I washed it but apparently she had gone on it more which the only time she would go she would end up going on it because she's really good with with potty training or with like 
crate training is there's been a couple of times where I've left her out. Like if we go to the Y or something, like I get home, let her out. I don't want to throw her right back in her crate for 45 minutes. So I'll leave her out. So clearly not going to do that again. So the top wasn't wet, but the bottom was really wet and it was making the floor gross. So I just tossed the rug. Um, we're going to probably, we're going to end up getting new stuff anyways, some new stuff anyways, when we move into the new house. So I'm not going to worry about buying anything else right now because I don't want to decorate for here when we're just going to move in six months. So yeah, so all of these toys are going to have to find a home. Um, these things because they were over there in the corner on the, or on the edge of the wall, which I feel like it's a little odd to put them there now that there's no rug, but they might just have to go back there. This is a her. I don't know where the where the heck this came from. So this is all her that she just put over here right now. So, what? You gonna, you laying over there in the corner? You can lie there, this is a good spot. Yeah? With your iPad? Okay. There you go. I have way too many of these things, you guys. So, everywhere is clean except for as soon as I get done vacuuming, I see this. Like, come on, I can never win. I can't, I can never win with a toddler. It's just impossible. So I could just get a little hand vacuum and get that up. Um, or put Zoe up there for right now. Um, so I am washing the cover to her little chair, to her Pottery Barn chair thing that, that those are the insert you guys just saw her playing on. So I'm washing that because this armrest and the top the most gets so dirty because Kimley gets on there a lot and eats on there and stuff, but also Zoe gets on the back. And it's about to get a lot worse because that chair is going to go over in that corner where the rug used to be. Um, and Zoe is, I know for sure, is going to be on the back all the time so she can see out the window. Because before that area used to be Kinley's play area, it actually used to be the dog's area. And they had a wooden house, yeah, a wooden house inside that had two levels that they, and they only used, really used the top where they could go up. And they would see out the window, which they loved. If I can find a picture, I'll insert one. Um, and if I remember to insert it. <laughs> um, so I know she's going to go on there. So I'm washing the cover. I had to douse it in OxyClean because it was just horrible. And I'm going to sneak one lobby in there. Because it is really dirty. She's sick. I want the germs off of it. And two, um, that one she had at the house on Monday. The new house on Monday. And... She was like dragging it on all the floors and they're they're pretty dirty. So I'm gonna clean those up. Girl, big bro. Hi, little gummy bear girl. Hi, little gummy bear girl. Did you have a good night, Bo? You had a good night, Bo. Yeah. You did. Oh, I'm glad you had a good night. Mm hmm. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Oh, you cuddle in with lovey. Yeah? Can you say hi to Zozo? Zozo wants to say <coughs> hi to you. Your cough already sounds a lot better. What are you looking for? What? What is it? What? I don't know where it is. Do you remember where you put it? Do you want to get up? Ow, Kinley, come on, my baby, be careful. You just kicked mommy. Is this what you're looking for? 
That's the only one. There's two right there. You okay? Alright. You wanna get up? Are you feeling okay enough to go check on the new house? Do you want to go check on it and look at it and see all the trees they cut down? Yeah? Yep. Boom. They go boom? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I just got her up. Well, she woke up on her own, but I was literally just about to come in here. This lady is so bad on this camera. What the heck is going on, you guys? <sighs> this camera's really dry. I don't know if I messed with the setting or something. Um, so anyways, um, if I can get her up and if she's feeling okay when she gets up, we're going to go over there. Kind of in a little bit of a rush because I have some photography homework that um, I need to finish. Um, and I did take some pictures that I could use for it, but I kind of want to take a little bit better of pictures. Um, that's still just a little bit more interesting of scenery. And so I was thinking my parents' backyard would be perfect because it's lighting. The pictures it would involve lighting and their backyard it has lots and lots of different, you know, areas. So it'll be perfect. So I think we're gonna head over there and take some pictures and check on the new house. Oh, Zoe look. Zoe just licked you. She just gave you a kiss kiss. Okay. No, don't kick her or be nice to her, be gentle. So we're gonna see how the new house if they're uh oh my goodness see guys what do you what do what do I say? what do I tell you? What did I say? Okay, there we go. Um so we're gonna check on the new house. Um they'll probably be going by now, the tree guys. Um but I cannot wait to see what even bigger of a difference it looks like. We haven't been there in a couple days. We went on Monday and saw some trees being cut down, but Today, um, my mom called me this morning and told us to come over if we wanted to see the big tree get cut down because there was a huge one, you guys, like probably about 80, 90 feet tall. And it was so fat around. But we didn't go because she was just not feeling good this morning and it was cold and she was just really not feeling good. So, we didn't see it, but Mimi supposedly videoed it, so we'll see. So, we're going to get some clothes on while I am. She can go in her jammies. And get going. Go, you wanna go over there? Maybe you can see Papa. Yeah? And Mimi. And Mimi? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're playing hide and go seek. We're playing hide and go seek and Kelly's gonna count and try to find Mommy, okay? Go in your room and count, okay? Go count.
with your iPad, huh? Yeah? Is that the only reason why you found me? Yeah? Last time I hit there, guys, she could not find me. She spent, like, literally probably 10 minutes looking all around, and she could not find me. She finally just gave up and just got her iPad and just sat in her little chair that was right here. And so I was just under there, just chilling. My neighbor came to the door and everything, and I was just under there. Waiting for her to find me, and she gave up. Me count. Me count? You have to go hide then. Are you gonna hide? Yeah? Oh, okay. Well, that mommy won't know where you are then. You have to find your own spot. We're still working on perfecting how you go seek. So, anyways, guys, I didn't vlog at the house when we went over there just because it was really quick. Um, my parents were getting out to go somewhere, and so I was trying to talk to my mom, so I wanted to spend that time to talk to her real quick. Um, and then by that time, it was just too dark. Um, I wanted to take a couple of pictures from my photography class while I had some of some reflections of light and stuff that were really good. So um, I didn't really get any pictures or video of the house. I got one picture um, of so that you can really tell how many trees are cut down, but um, one, my car is in the driveway, and two, they, which is not a big deal, it's just it, it takes up, you know, it takes away from the picture. You can't really see as well the house as well. And they have some other stuff in the driveway because they're not completely done. They have to chip the rest of the trees that are down and um, get the stumps out of the ground. So um, they should be totally, totally finished by Friday. So that will be fun to see. It already looks like a million times better, you guys. Um, actually, you can actually see a house there. Before, it just blended in so much. It was so overgrown. So anyways, we're going to play for a little bit more and then I'm going to get her in the hub. That's a big tree. 